Hello, I'm Diana Keir, Editor-in-Chief of ShareWork.com. Today we're talking with Dr. Connor Delaney, who is the Chief of Colorectal Surgery at University Hospitals about colon cancer. Dr. Delaney has agreed to take questions that have come in over the internet from our members. First up, Dr. Delaney, is Judy from Pennsylvania. Dr. Delaney, how do my eating habits play into the risk of colon cancer? Overall, eating habits probably don't affect the risk of colon cancer too much. Um, there is data from experimental models uh, that eating red meat might cause colon cancer or be associated with colon cancer, but there's no real human evidence. Uh, one of the issues was whether fiber might help, uh, and again, the best studies and some large studies have shown that taking fiber doesn't really make a difference. So the bottom line is that we don't have any good evidence that diet affects colon cancer. And as with many other things, the best thing to do is just have a good, general, broad-based diet with appropriate amounts of meat and fiber and vitamins, uh, carbohydrates and protein. Dr. Delaney, my sister has a large polyp and is going to her local hospital to get it removed. I feel better if she went to a cancer center that specializes in this. Does it matter? I think going to a local hospital is very reasonable uh, for taking out a polyp. Um, many gastroenterologists take out a lot of polyps. Larger polyps can be a little bit different and it depends on the size and location and complexity of the polyp. Again, there are very many gastroenterologists in the community who are very good at taking polyps out. Uh, and while one has the option of coming to uh, a larger tertiary medical center to have it done. Uh, if she's comfortable with her gastroenterologist who will be doing the colonoscopy or surgeon that will be doing the colonoscopy, it's probably more important that she gets it done. Dr. Delaney, I just have a follow-up to Holly's question. What exactly is the latest technology when it comes to removing polyps or doing surgery on colon cancer at all? When we think about new things in the field of surgery for colorectal cancer and polyps, uh, probably the biggest single change over the last 10 or 20 years has been the introduction of laparoscopy. Uh, laparoscopy, or minimally invasive surgery, where five millimeter incisions are made, so less than a quarter of an inch, and we pass very narrow instruments and can do very major operations. Well, that's been around for quite a while for more minor procedures like gallbladder and other things. But over the last 10 years particularly, uh, we've got a lot of data now showing that it's very safe for colorectal cancer and patients who have laparoscopic surgery for colorectal cancer have less pain and earlier recovery and fewer complications. So we're able to cure cancer just as well as we did with open surgery but for most people we can do it laparoscopically as long as the surgeon and the facility they work in have the right training and equipment. Dr. Delaney, my friend is afraid of getting a colonoscopy. He thinks it's painful. Uh, what should he expect with the procedure? I think that's a very understandable concern for many patients to be scared of having a colonoscopy. And the truth is that for the vast majority of people, it's not a difficult experience. It's something that takes about 20 minutes. People get sedation while they're having their colonoscopy. And you feel some bloating and sometimes some gassy kind of discomfort but most people don't have a lot of pain and medications can be given to control the pain so the colonoscopy usually isn't too bad in fact the worst part is the prep uh, and even that's not too bad uh, you stay off solid food the day before the colonoscopy and you drink a preparation that cleans your colon out and you want to be near a bathroom uh, a restroom and uh, then you get clean and you have your procedure done the next day and after that you can eat normally and function normally and for most people, I think the experience is very manageable. Dr. Delaney, thank you so much for joining us today on ShareWork.com. This has been great information. If you'd like more on this topic, please go to our website at www.sharework.com.